Hello everyone, I'm Matteo Poggi, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to our evaluation of confidence measure in a machine learning world, a joint work with Fabio Tosi and Stefano Mattoccia. In stereo matching, confidence measures assess the uncertainty of the disparity assignments given by a stereo algorithm. Here you can see a reference image, an example of noisy disparity map, and two confidence maps on which a bright colors encodes the more reliable assignments. The confidence information can be obtained processing several cues, such as the matching cost, the cost curve, left-right consistency, and others. But why we need the confidence measure? Traditionally, confidence measures are used uh, to detect uh, occlusions and outliers in the disparity maps. But more recently, we have a number of novel applications, in particular to improve uh, the accuracy of uh, the disparity maps uh, by detecting uh, reliable ground control points or to improve the quality of the cost volume or by plugging uh, the confidence inside very popular uh, stereo pipelines, such as the uh, semi-global matching algorithm. More recently, we had uh, a supervised adaptation of deep stereo presented here at ICCV this year, and uh, self-supervised training of more robust confidence measure, or also sensor fusion. Who and more do I presented the very first uh, evaluation of confidence measure in 2012. They extensively reviewed and evaluated the uh, confidence measure, and more importantly, they established a standard protocol based on rock curve analysis, uh, which will be used in the uh, further works uh, to compare the effectiveness of uh, several confidence measures. But you know, computer vision ran fast, uh, and since 2012 we had uh, many more uh, datasets. In particular, we have the challenging Kitty datasets and uh, Midderbury V3 dataset. We also have new matching cost function based on deep learning, in particular MCCNN, uh, very popular by Svonter and LeCurne. And also, semi-global matching and AD sensors become very popular, and they are deployed on uh, almost uh, uh, all uh, real-time stereo pipeline. More importantly, we also have new confidence measures based on machine learning and deep learning, most of them using random forest classifiers or CNN to classify the pixels according to uh, their, their um, uh, reliability into confident or unconfident pixels. For this reason, we propose a new evaluation and review of confidence measure. In particular, we consider 52 confidence measures. Actually, there are 76, considering some variants of them. We categorize them into seven classes according to the input cues each of them process, and we evaluate their performance into the three most popular stereo benchmarks so far, which are the KT12 and 15, and Midderbury V3 and using three popular stereo algorithms, which are AD census, MCCNN, and the semi-global matching algorithm. Moreover, we focus uh, on the more recent confidence measure based on machine learning, and we inquire some key properties of this measure. In particular, how using different features uh, uh, improve the performance of these measures, how different amount of training data impact on the final accuracy of this measure, and how well they generalize when dealing with, with uh, totally different data uh, compared to the training data set. Moreover, we also deploy them to improve the accuracy of stereo matching, and uh, we compare their effectiveness. If you're curious about the results of our evaluation, we'll be happy to discuss with you at our poster number six. Thanks for your attention, and see you there.